Huh. So as I was recording and I was in the middle of a thing, my phone just like, hey, software update. You might really fucking want that thing you don't give a fuck about. And it completely cut off the video. It still was recording. And I saw it when it happened. So it's not like I went for another 10 minutes or so. But like, oh, that fucking pisses me off. I was in the middle of something. We were, ugh. And the reason it really makes me mad is I've said like the software I used to use. I, it's not like I really edit my videos. You can tell. But to combine videos doesn't exist anymore. And the one that replaced it is fucking dog shit. So like, it doesn't work. I've tried it. It like, ah, oh, it's bad. So I'm probably going to have to release this in two parts, which feels so bad. Weird for a car talk video. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry, but just, uh, I don't even think I have much to say in this part, but I, I guess we'll keep going. I was talking about friendship is magic and how I kind of want to take breaks in between it. One through three, I feel like it's something I can watch and take a short break. Four and five, same shit. Eight and nine would go together, which leaves six and seven. And at the end of season seven is the what do they call it? It's like the ponies of the past or whatever the fuck, the like ancient legends. I just, I just, in my head, I think of it as like the John Henry arc where it's about like all those kinds of characters and equestrian history and the pony shadows, which is not what the pony shadows was previously. We're like, sure, we're going to do this. And it didn't, from what I remember, it didn't very much have like a, yeah, series finale feel the way that magical mystery cure. I don't remember what the season five finale was. Was that the cutie map? Was it the map? Is that the first time they didn't know? The first time they did anything with the map was when they first uh, met Starlight Glibber, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what the season five finale is called, but it, I remember it had that kind of finale feel and certainly the end of season nine does. But I also remember six and seven when I was watching them, it kind of felt like, oh, this has become the Starlight Glimmer show. And I, I fucking love Starlight Glimmer, so I don't, inherently mind that but I do remember kind of things like yeah this has just become the glim glam show so I guess those two seasons do go well together it's so like I said it'll be one through three and then like watch a short show four and five short show six and seven short show eight and nine and then the equestrian girl specials and movies as they fit in along the way so moving on to the next thing yes I finally fucking started AI The Somnium Files, and not just like I played it for 30 minutes and that's it. I've played for about 17 hours now. Um, I'm on Mizuki's part of the story. I did all of Ryuki's shit. Now we're on Mizuki. The last thing I, the last major thing I did was Kizzy Somnium, the fairy tale one, which I loved. I think Iris's is my favorite. The goofy ass Pokemon Go shit. Like this. This is perfect. This is wonderful. This is the exact like tier of wacky shit that I want from this game. And this game is just wacky shit constantly. I love it. I was talking to Clay about it last night. I was like, this, this game's sense of humor is that anything can be funny. You've got sex jokes, you've got references, you've got um just characters saying random offbeat non sequiturs, and I just kind of love all of it. I'm having such a good time with this game. It can still have its genuine like emotional moments. Like um the the yeah. Komeji and Shoma route and its ending was just sweet. I fucking loved it. I was like, this is really good. And then, like I said, Kizzy Somnium, I really liked the vibe, like all the fairy tale shit, but I really liked the story it was telling. I'm like, I feel so bad for you, you poor girl. Um, It's great. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this. I mean, it's already Thursday. I'm, I don't know if I'll finish it by the end of the week. I would very much like to, if not, probably by Monday or Tuesday of next week. But, uh, game's great. Let's see, talk about that, talk about that. So, 
NFL playoffs are in full swing, and I plan on doing a short video on that as well. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, but I'm really looking forward to it because I love football. While I was watching the playoffs, I was reading. Because I, I, I mean, that's what I've done throughout the season. Even last night, I remember last year watching that Giants-Vikings playoff game. And while I'm watching the game, I'm also reading Muffle of the Day after. I don't know why, but my brain just like, football, yes, I get to watch a good game. I am also going to be on my phone reading or like on my Switch reading a VN. It, it just works for me that way. Like, I remember reading the end of part one of Chainsaw Man, and probably the start of part two as well, while watching that Halloween Bucks Saints Monday night game a couple years ago. I, Anyways, point. I finished After Story. I read most of After Story, maybe not most, but maybe about like two-thirds or so of After Story during the Browns-Texans game and the Chiefs-Dolphins games. And then I finished it up the following morning. I have already done a video on Clannad. Short version of that. As much as I love Clannad, I would not recommend reading the VN. Maybe watching specific scenes or routes if it's a character you really like. I personally would just rather watch the anime. It's something I felt just almost the entirety of the VN. For me, there was very little that the VN offers that isn't in the anime that, to me, made it super worth it. I still really like the characters. I still really love the story and the themes in Clannad. But I even feel like those themes are stronger in the presentation of the anime than in the VN. Because it, it's, you have to... Yeah, since everything's its own separate route... You keep resetting everyone's development and their stories and their endings. So for me, like, I, I know the big theme of Clannad is family. To me, the other big theme that hits me a little bit harder is growth. And when you're resetting every fucking time, the characters don't keep their growth. And I, I don't like that compared to how it is in the anime. That's my thought on that. And then while watching the Lions-Rams game, which was fantastic, I loved that game, I read a fuck ton of Alice in Wonderland, specifically the first one, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and then I finished it the next day. So I finally fucking read Alice in Wonderland, and I'm I'm kind of going a little bit easier on Through the Looking Glass, I'm like, I'm gonna, I just read a fuck ton of this in a couple days, I'm gonna take a few days off, I read a couple chapters last night while playing Mario Party, <laughs> um... I loved it. I really, really loved the first book. The little bit I've read of Through the Looking Glass. I'm loving it too. It's great. It's wonderful. It's like AI. It's wacky shit. And it's fantastic. Um, Talked about that. Talked about that. Talked about that. Talked about that. I finished. I've got to finish writing another chapter in uh, the VNI script I'm working on. And then working on the next one, I'm like, huh. There's this whole section that I think is kind of dog shit that doesn't add much. And I'm like, oh, this was already a shorter chapter. And I just took out like a third of it. We take that. You know what that means? Progress. That made me kind of happy. And then we get the big news of the day. The shit I found out when I woke up this morning. Monogatari is coming back. And it's not just the Kizu movie that they're doing, which is, I guess, like a super cut of all three Kizu movies into one, which, interesting, okay. It sounds like season four and season five. They're direct, They're going to adapt the next two story arcs in the light novels, which I have not read the light novels at all. But I'm now super fucking excited for more Monogatari. I can't say last year anymore, so it was 2022. I binged it in 2022. I fucking loved it. It was so good. I am excited as hell for more Monogatari. Uh, that was just great shit to wake up to. I'm like, I'm going to talk about this in my video. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm really, really fucking excited. But um, hopefully I can maybe get Alice done. It, for me, it's kind of on the same timeline as AI. If I can get it done by the end of the week, great. If not, hopefully couple days into next week, I'd be happy. 
I'd like to get season one of Friendship is Magic done this week. We'll see. Mm, <laughs> we'll see what happens uh, with season two. And then the week after next is the cruise. I know season three is pretty short, so hope. I mean, I don't think I'm going to watch season two and season three next week. But, hey, if I can, that would be pretty dope. But um, I think that's it. So I'll see you later. Uh, have a good day. Have a good weekend. See you when I see you.